Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the solved problem in magnetic circuit part 5. Subscribe this channel for more videos related to the electrical and course material. The course material drive link available in the description box. Now we will go to the first problem. Calculate the inductance of a coil of 400 turns wound on a iron cord toroidal ring having mean radius mean diameter of 30 cm the ring has a circular cross section of diameter 5 cm also calculate the emf induced in the coil when the current of 4 ampere is reversed in 30 milliseconds so we need to find the emf induced in the coil now we'll see the data what are the data available The number of turns is 400, mean diameter given is 30 centimeter, so that radius equal to 30 divided by 2, 15 centimeter. So from this radius we can find the length of the magnetic path. The length is nothing but circumference because it is a circular ring. So the length is nothing but the circumference of the ring. So 2 pi r, r value is given, so 2 into pi into r is 15 into 10 to the power minus 2, so that by simplifying, we got 30 pi into 10 to the power minus 2. That is nothing but 0.942 meter. The length of the magnetic path is 0.942 meter. It is calculated from circumference. Then diameter is given as 5 centimeter. This is nothing but diameter of the coil. This is the radius, nothing but radius of the core, iron core. This is the diameter of the coil. So, the radius equal to diameter by 2, 5 by 2 is 2.5, centimeter is given, so multiplying minus 2 we can convert into meter, 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. From that we can calculate the area pi r square, pi into r square, 2.5 into 10 to the power minus square, so that 9.1.963 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square. So, this is the area of the coil. This this radius refers radius of the iron core, this radius refers radius of the coil. An air core coil is given, so mu r, relative permeability in case of air is 1 and the absolute permeability is 4.5 into 10 to the power minus 7, constant. Now we will go to the problem, first we will find the inductance. L equal to n pi by i. So general formula number of turns flux divided by i. The pi can be written as n i by s that is flux equal to m m of divided by reluctance. Then the original formula is reluctance equal to n i by pi. From that we calculated the flux. Now we can substitute this pi here so that n by i into the pi is replaced as n i by s. So this i i got cancelled. So, what we got n square by s. That yes, yes, one more formula is L divided by mu naught mu r into a. The formula the reluctance can be written as length divided by mu naught mu r into a. So, these three terms will go to the numerator. So, that n square mu naught mu r a divided by L. Now, we will substitute the values in this. So, n square is 400, n is 400, number of turns is 400, 400 square, mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 1, the mu r is 1 because of r. The area calculated as 1.963 into 10 to the power minus 4 and the length is 0.942. By simplifying this, we got 4.1877 into 10 to the power minus 4 Henry. So, now the inductance is calculated. Our aim is to find the EM of induced. So, the current is given as 4 ampere reversed. So, the difference between these two current is 4 ampere thereafter reversed means minus 4. Originally 4 that is again then in that it is reversed. Current is reversed means plus 4 to minus 4. So, the difference between the current is 4 minus of minus 4. So, it become 4 plus 4, 8 ampere. Current is reversed from plus 4 to minus 4. So, that while finding the difference, we got 8 ampere. The current, the, the time is given as 30 milliseconds. 
so 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 milli means 10 to, the, 10 to the power minus 3 seconds so now we can substitute this value so em of induced is nothing but l di by dt we know the value of l di and dt so that we can use this formula so the l calculated as 4.1877 into 10 to the power minus 4 into the current is 8 ampere the time is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 so by simplifying this what we got 0.1117 voltage the em of induced is 0.117 voltage now we'll go to the second problem a coil has a self inductance of 30 milli henry calculate the em of induced in the coil when the current in the coil is increased at a rate of 300 ampere per second raised from 0 to 10 ampere in 0 0.06 second right the inductor value is given we need to find the em of two different cases available one is increased at the rate 300 ampere per second another one raised from 0 to 10 ampere at 0 0.06 seconds so the l is given 30 millisecond milli henry so that is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 henry milli means 10 to the power minus 3 so that the em of equal to e equal to l di by dt the l value is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 what is di by dt the current is increased at the rate so di by dt is nothing but 300 ampere per second di by dt i by dt means ampere per second so this value is given the rate the rate of increase is 300 so 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 300 will give 9 voltage for the first case it is 9 voltage that is current is increased at the rate 300 ampere per second now we'll go to the second case the current is increased from 0 to 10 ampere so that di equal to 10 minus 0 10 ampere the dt is 0 0.06 second right here di by dt is directly given 300 ampere per second here di is given and dt is given separately so e equal to l di by dt now we can substitute the value so that e equal to l is 30 into 10 to the power minus 3 the current is 10 ampere the time is 0 0.06 so by simplifying we got 5 voltage so for the second case the em of induced is 5 voltage now we'll go to the third problem two identical coils a and b each having thousand turns lie in the parallel plane such that 60 percentage of flux produced by the one coil link with the other each having thousand turn 60 percentage of flux is linking from one coil to other coil the current is 10 ampere in coil a produces in it a flux of 10 to the power minus 4 weber if the current in the coil a changes from plus 12 ampere to minus 12 ampere in 0.2 0 0.02 seconds what would be the magnitude of em of induced in the coil b second coil right now we'll see the given data so for n1 and a2 in the both the coil the number of turns is 1000 the current in the first coil is given 10 ampere the flux in the first coil is given 10 to the power minus 4 Weber and one more da data is given 60 percentage of coil is linked so the amount of flux linking the second coil is pi 1 to equal to 60 percentage 0.6 into this pi 1 10 to the power minus 4 so pi 1 equal to 10 to the power minus 4 in that 60 percentage is linking with the second coil so pi 1 to equal to 60 percentage into pi 1 now we'll find the di1 by dt the current in the first coil is given so di1 by dt equal to 12 12 ampere then it is reversed into minus 12 so the changed from plus 12 to minus 12 so while finding the difference 12 minus minus of 12 so it become 12 plus 12 24 the current is changed from plus 12 to minus 12 so the rate of the change in the change in value will be 24 and the current is 0 0.02 seconds so by simplifying what we got 
1200 ampere per second. So, the rate of change of current in the first coil. But the question is asked EM of induced in the second coil, coil B. So, by using the mutual inductance formula, we can find the EM of induced in the second coil that is M di1 by dt. So, the EM of induced in the second coil is based on the current rate of change of current in the first coil that is the property of the mutual inductance. So, this value is given so you can easily find the current in the first coil is given so you can easily find the EM of in the second coil by using this formula. So, the M1 M can be written as N2 pi 1 2 divided by I 1. Here also we have N2 is available pi 1 2 also available divided by I 1. So, the mutual inductance in the second coil based on the current in the first coil. So, due to this property we can use this formula then di1 by dt. Now, all the values are available. So, the n2 is 1000 pi 1 to be calculated 60 percentage of pi 1 divided by i is 10 ampere into di by dt we calculated 1200. So, by simplifying we got 7.2 voltage em of induced in the second coil due to current change in the first coil. So, now we calculated the em of. So, three problems solved in this more problem in the magnetic circuit available in separate video the link is available in the description box also subscribe the channel for more electrical videos thank you